It's all Greek to me. <laughs> that was chow chow. Is that what uh -huh. that was? Oh, I see. I, I, was, I saw those cats running uh -huh. around there. I yeah. don't know what that was all about. We're going to have, oh, I'm Larry Blyden. It's Lady Judson. This is Cook and Cheap, and this is our set. Uh, we're going to have uh, our Italian show yes. today. We haven't had one for a couple of years. We've maybe got all kinds of stuff of here. Got a little uh, graziosi. Chianti. Which we're not allowed to drink because they got to take it back to it's, the store. Can you believe that? Fake. No, it's real, but they won't let us put our lips on it. We have to behave ourselves. We've been drinking a lot of water this I year. Know. And look, the lovely Doris has uh, given us a fine uh, pasta tribute. Uh -huh. <laughs> Isn't that lovely? It That's really real is cute. Neat. It really is. Mm -hmm. She just comes up with all this stuff. It's wonderful. Well, let's see. We got, you want well, to do something yeah. or you want to sit here? This lady writes and says, Dear Laban and Larry, I'm writing for the recipes for the show. I'm, and she gave the number. I watch your show here in Richmond, Virginia, when I can. I always appreciate the tips you occasionally pass along to the viewer. I have a tip I would like to share with you. On one of your shows, I don't remember the number, or which one of you committed the crime, one of you used a good knife to stir a pot of boiling water. This caught my attention because not, uh, most of the time, you guys are furnished with very sorry looking cutlery. Point, the temper of good cutlery can be ruined by repeated being in temperatures over 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Well, no Boiling liquids, dishwashers. A knife is probably the single most important tool in the kitchen and should be treated with great respect. Always wash them by hand and dry them and store them properly. Mm -hmm. I have had friends ask me to sharpen their knives only to find they had abused them so they would no longer hold an edge. We won't continue with this knife I abuse. I enjoy your <laughs> shows. Keep having fun. And that's from <laughs> Seth Cooper in Richmond. Well, Seth, thanks a lot. But there is no good cutlery on this show, and we'll <laughs> boil it till the end of time. That's Re just the way it goes. Now, remember, ladies and gentlemen, send your letters and $20 uh -huh. to Knife Abuse. <laughs> Cooking cheap, leave it in Larry, make it out to us personally. Dear guys, you are really something else. Too bad you don't come on earlier in the day in our area. You would really make my day. I like your sense of humor, and your cooking ain't bad either. What was that? Oh, it's my oil is making funny. I thought somebody had gotten out of control. Gee, it's blazing. I up. have tried to write down the recipe. I, I hope think it the is going to go up any minute. It didn't go off. <laughs> As you give them. But you're both talking and get them mixed up. It's hard to tell what might end up with, but keep doing what you're doing. I enjoy the show. Well, it is Irene Kelly writes that. It doesn't say from where. She's from nowhere. But I tell you what, Irene, the best thing to do is just wait for the recipe to come up. We're giving you a lot more time on them this year than we have in past years. And Bertha Hall writes and says uh, she's missed us for months from up in Winchester, Virginia, the final resting place of Miss Patsy Klein, and says that, uh, or was that her birthplace? No, that's what both. That? Both. We're big Patsy Klein's fan she here. She was on born there and she died there. Uh, please send me uh, your recipe. She says, don't mind my writing at 78. My hand does not follow my thinking. <laughs> <laughs> says, you both look like you have been vacationing farther. So uh, uh, something in the Carolinas. You have a handsome young man with you today. I hope it won't insult him to say he looks like a grandson of mine in Huntsville, Alabama. Who what is an a, insult. A Marine sergeant and just returned from Okinawa. Oh, yeah, he is well, a nice you. guy. Thank yes, you, bro. Nice, nice guy. <laughs> Ahoy, Lavin and Johnson. Well, let's I guess I'm Lavin. <laughs> yes, Johnson. No, I'm Lavin. <laughs> Today's USS Gravy boat launched itself with a depth charge letter from one Mrs. Fine of Richmond. You remember that oh, last Oh, yes. 
Uh, your show is worth every minute it's on. We're, you were correct to advise Mrs. Fine if she had no sense of humor, she should turn off her set. Didn't we do that? <laughs> yes, we did. No offense to anyone, but I tried to sit through another cooking show and was driven away by the high-pitched monotone delivery. Well, I wonder who they could be talking <laughs> about. You all have a fine show. It's like the McCall's on the air. It's like a live cookbook. Isn't that nice? <laughs> So deep six, Mrs. Fine's letter, and continue on with the format of the show from Teresa Bird of Manita, Virginia. Thank you, Manita. Thank Anita, you. to hear from you again. Incidentally, sometime. today, uh, as we move over to the kitchen, I want to pause here by our map of Italy. Uh, it's right here, and this will show you where we're cooking today. We're sometimes, some, I think we're right down here in the heel of the boots. <laughs> it so is a very lifelike yeah, uh, uh, relief rendition map. of Italy. Yes, it and is. the Pope Certainly. is up here somewhere along uh -huh. in this area, right along in here. Sure. All right, well, let's. Buster Brown. Uh -huh. Well, anyway. No, not Pope Buster Brown. That's silly, you dumbo. <laughs> Mine comes in two parts. Can I start, please? <laughs> we thought you. I have get some to fine it. oil, which has just been baked into submission on top of the stove. And what I need to start out with, and I'm going to do a casserole italiano. Ooh. Doesn't that sound impressive? And it was sent in by Sheila Craddock of Chatham, Virginia. Boy, now you know I love those people up there. I have a couple of friends who live in Chatham, and admit it readily. Now, I'm going to start out with a big glob of ground beef. A big glob being about a pound and a half of ground beef. And I'm going to add some sausage to it. I always find that these Italian dishes that start out with hamburger worry me a little bit. Mm -hmm. But this, this gal, uh, Miss Sheila, Miss Sheila, Ms. Riz Sheila has good taste because she said you should also add some sausage if you want to. And that's a woman after my own heart because I tell you what's the fact, I'm going to just rip these casings off. Don't get grossed out now. It's all right. You all right, Hutch? You going to make it? <laughs> he got real tickled about it. I don't know what it was. He was, my mother was attacked by something. But anyway. <laughs> that's terrible. By uh, a giant sausage. So what I have done is I have got some Italian sausage, which is hot Italian spicy sausage, and I'm going to add that to the mix. Oh. How awful it went on my leg. <laughs> <laughs> it stayed there. Now, we won't talk about what those things are, but most of us know what casings are. And if you don't, you should. Well, what are they? Oh, that's right. They're, They're the intestines. Intestines They're of the pig. Cleaned intestines of the pig, and they fill them up with a sausage. Now Same we thing have chitlins are made out. We've huh? told you what they are, and if you're not big enough to take it, to just I don't get know, what out they, of the kitchen. get out of the kitchen. That's right. And now what we're going to do is just mix that stuff up real good. And we're going to brown it, and that's all I need to do for right now. I'm going to add a little salt and pepper, oh, 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 oh and some onion, and one garlic clove. I'm going to do that right now too. So, uh, so what the heck? Well. You go right, and let me do my salad dressing while you're doing that. Do your Later. salad. Right. Oh, by the way, I also have a little water boiling over here. We're going to take, I have, I too have chosen some very interesting and amusing pastas today. Uh -huh. the, the recipe called for noodles, and I just hate noodles and casseroles because they just get glumpy, and they just turn into a big blob, and they sit in the bottom of your tummy and won't go away. So I have chosen these, which are real pretty. What are they called? Well, what does it say on the front? Well, I can't read it. It's some kind of Greek. Racanto. Racanto. Number one semolina. 100% product of Italy. Oh, good. Imported. There it is. There well, it is. Throw it around. So anyway, you're gonna, I'm going to boil those until they get uh, nice and al dente, which will take about 15 minutes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you fool. I have put a knife into the water. And now we know which one did it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Boy, I'm telling you. Uh, I've had a rough day. I'm going Seth, home. we're sorry. Yeah, All right, I'm is. doing my salad dressing while you mess around. <laughs> Incidentally, this salad, you know, my friends at Ringling Brothers Circus. Oh, uh, give me a break. Kenneth Feld and Ringling the gang. Ringling Brothers Circus. Uh, always say with these, first time in America, first time on the earth, this is the first time in the world this salad has ever been done. This is my very own recipe for Un Bel D salad. One fine day salad. One fine day. Oh, for heaven's sake. All right, quarter cup of vegetable oil. I'm using corn oil. <laughs> oh, the, this gang out here is some, a, a tablespoon of soy sauce. I'm using 
the regular variety, not the light, because Excuse we me, want I a full load flavor. Up my, my, my garlic squisher. Everybody always loves this because sometimes it goes off and just shoots all over everything. Here we go. <laughs> Isn't that fun? Oh, that's wonderful. It's also coming apart. There we go. Clove of garlic. Go ahead. All right. I'm and sorry. now I'm adding a half a cup of rice wine vinegar. Of what? Rice wine vinegar. Ooh. Where'd you get that? Did you run that up yourself over no, the weekend? Oh, no. I got that at the stove. Excuse and me. I gotta have a, a tablespoonful of honey. I don't care. I gotta get these things moving around. I don't have anything. To and I got this little. Oh no! Another one sealed for your protection. Gosh. What is that? Is that honey? Mm-hmm. Well, why didn't you use the Wilkins's honey? He's giving you tons of honey every no, year. No, he hasn't. And here he you never are gives me any. With that fake honey. That's an this insult is real to honey. our friend. Well. If he sees this, he can just give me some honey instead of talking about it but all. But you know, I asked him one time how he got his bees to sit on that little thing. <laughs> Never mind. Anyway. All right, now this is my salad dressing there. Oh, I gotta have this uh, other thing from over He's here just in the oven. real forgetful again this yeah. year. He has uh, done one too many, <laughs> uh, what, ling Whatever. All right. Now, I I've got two tablespoons of toasted sesame seeds. How long did you toast them? Oh, until they got kind of like brown. And they go right on in there. <laughs> and I'm going to diddle those around a little bit here <laughs> until it's well mixed up. And this is the dressing for my salad. You know, this stuff isn't boiling very well. Well, it, well. Must be because it keeps sticking this knife in here. Something wrong with it, it won't boil. Well, I'm never gonna get it ready. Well, I guess that's your problem. Now to this <laughs> salad dressing, let me add some more of my stuff while you're playing around over there. I'm adding a can of drained bean sprouts and a can of sliced water chestnuts. Thank goodness they already come sliced. And I'm going to grate this carrot down in here. A watch pot never boils. Maybe if I covered it up. You know what? This control over here is real screwy, and I think you might have turned it off by accident. I can't afford that. Put it back on. Well, I did. But I didn't want to throw it on your face. Just one medium-sized carrot grated here on your... Did you see that lid? <laughs> that lid's going to fly out of there uh -huh. and smack you in the face here in a couple of minutes. Look at it. It's starting to lift up. It's alive. <laughs> it's the only one I got. Looks like it was starring in a Ridley Scott movie. You know, if you and I don't soon go out and... <laughs> <laughs> it moves. It pulsates. <laughs> Anyway, if you and I don't go out soon and spend some of this TV station's precious money and <laughs> resupply this kitchen, it's pathetic this year. Well, I, we are seem to be having kind of a hard time. Now, I'm going to slice Whoa. a bunch of onions. There you go. I got it back again. It's been resuscitated. I'm going to throw a load of onions in here. This stuff is going real good. Everything's now the show's about over. Everything's starting to cook. I'm going to cook these onions. And there's also a, a nice big garlic clove in there, a little salt and pepper. I've got your two kind. you got your sausage and your hamburger. We're starting to, to brown that now. Put it on high. It should be browning faster than this. I don't know what's wrong. I'm getting discouraged. <laughs> I'm thinking about leaving, going out and getting lunch. It's just not doing well. Is that on high? Yes. It wasn't, though. Uh -uh, I swear. Well, oh, that's right. I turned it down. Uh-huh. Just can't seem to get everything going here at one time. Don't <laughs> me. I'm doing the best I can. Well, that's all right. We don't need for it to get done on the air. I got a fake one in the oven. Right. Well, while I'm tossing this salad Do here, we're going to add a can of drain mandrain oranges <laughs> into this. That one didn't want to leave. And I will. 
toss this up in this delicious salad dressing so it can marinate. As Larry is wont to say. Oh boy, this looks delicious. If I do say so myself. Well, mine's ready. I don't know about you. Well, it's not. I'm still browning this stuff. But I'll tell you what we need to do at this point. It won't hurt. We need to add a teaspoon of oregano in the remaining eight minutes that we have. A teaspoon of oregano. Be very careful. And we're going to add a can of tomato sauce. Plus third of a cup of water on top of that. About a third of the can should do the job. All right. And we're going to simmer that just a little bit on top of the stove. Mm -hmm. This is good. I tried this yesterday evening, and it was quite delightful. Oh, make sure you drain off all of the grease. Like you did. Like I just didn't do. Make sure you do not leave this greasy stuff in there like I just did. That's entirely wrong and you would be wrong if you did that also. Now, what I need to do at this point is get this stuff. You got a, yeah, there's one under there, a colander. Very lovely Doris is rushing to help me out of this mess. Thank you. And put you out of your considerable misery. Mm-hmm. Oh, one up. Oh, wait a minute. One of them slipped away. Yeah, notice that, well, it's not going to hurt you, that there is no hot water when I put this knife into the pot. <laughs> Nor is there going to be bottom to the pot if you don't stop scraping it with that thing. Oh, that's a tough little rest. That one didn't want to leave. That one home. didn't want to come out at all. Now, here's what we're going to do we're going to get ourselves a, a, a nice little casserole. And we're going to put some pasta in there. In fact, we're going to put it all in there. Why don't just put it all in there? After it's al dente, that's a little bit, uh, you know, chewy. Let's check it. To the thing. Check what? Does it stick on the door? Well, I don't know. Let's try it. <laughs> no, but it did nope. right back. <laughs> make it. Well, these can't stick on the door. They're not flat. Well, I don't know. Wait a minute. Terrible. Now nope, that's but it's stuck to the palm of my hand. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> so it must be done. Now, wait a minute. Now you're getting silly. All right, now hang on a second. Now, what we're going to do now that we've cooked this all up, this, this thing is much too small. This is the biggest mess. It does. It is. It is indeed. There it is. It did stick the to the proof. <laughs> positive. Anyway. Now, wait a minute. Oh. Well, that's enough. Come on, get up here. i got to get some stuff done here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take this beef mess, so we're going to put that on top. Mess? Isn't that wonderful? Oh, Ooh, I it, think she was going to come right. up here and smack mm. you into... Oh, it's wonderful. Well, I said it's not... I'm Look not casting using that knife. asparagus remarks off on her. I'm just... It, where's the uh, thing at that you had a minute ago? Give me that. What? Oh, this. Okay. Thank you. I'm going to put, you put your favorite kind of cheese on top of it. I got some uh, extra sharp cheddar, although you can use mozzarella whatever you'd like to use. Well, this has got carrots in it. Well, that isn't going to be good, but it won't hurt anything. Carrots never hurt anybody. And we're going to put that on top, and we will bake it uncovered at 350 degrees for 30 minutes. And I have one in there right now. What are you talking about? I was just telling Doris I thought we probably needed salad bowls, because oh, the salad looks a little drippy. Let's uh, review our recipes, why don't we, while we've got a little time. This is all I do, 350 degrees for 30 minutes. So that just bakes up real nice. Your favorite kind, you may want to do a, a whole variety of cheeses on top of it. It is wonderful, as you will see directly when mine comes out of the oven. All right. Let's look at the recipes and see what they look like. They're real good recipes. Mm -hmm. There we go, <laughs> casserole. All right, there we are and then by for the Sheila casserole. Crabbe. We've got uh, one and a half pounds of uh, ground beef, or maybe a mixture of sausage and beef, well, like I did. Third cup of chopped onion, medium clove garlic minced, oregano salt, put that on the stove and, and brown it all together. 
And, and then uh, a little pepper in there also. And then you add to that a can of tomato soup or tomato sauce, like I did, plus a little bit of water. You give it, and then two cups of cooked pasta. You pour that over it in, uh, in your uh, nice deep casserole. I need a little bit bigger one, this one. And then on top of it, shredded cheese. Bake it at 350 degrees for 30 minutes, and there you go. You got it. And for the fabulous Unbeldi salad, the salad calls for a can of bean sprouts, one small can of sliced water chestnuts, a bunch of green onions sliced, one medium carrot shredded, and a small can of mandarin oranges drained. The dressing has a quarter cup of salad oil, a tablespoon of soy sauce, one half cup rice wine vinegar, two tablespoons of toasted sesame seeds, and a tablespoon of honey. Mix all of those together and toss the salad as you want, would a tossed salad. Should come out real nice. Well, aha. Uh -huh. I just had a lot of things I had to do. Oh, you are jumping around here like Peter <sighs> Cottontail. It is very pretty, isn't it? That's lovely. Here, it's let really me lovely. try that, some of that cheese. Oh, it's... Mm, it is perfect. good. And any extra cheese you have left over, you can throw to the staff. <laughs> Whatever. This is good stuff. I like mm -hmm. it. Well, you reckon the kitchen mm -hmm. now, we got all the things so hot back here, I can't stand it. We well, here, I've got them all. Off. Yeah, they're all turned off. No, they're not. That one's on. That one's on. We got uh, the kitchen witch going to come in today? Yes, I think so. You know, she has been suffering from witchy morning sickness a lot lately. For but uh, we hope the, the nativity will be very soon. I'm not real sure what the gestation rate is for a, a witch, but uh, we'll be finding out. Anyway. Oh, hey, you guys. I want to know how to barbecue. I burn everything every time I try to do it. We even charcoal babies, what's that? Chihuahua. Che Chihuahua <laughs> last week. That little devil kept nipping on me, and I said, baby, I'm going to put that thing on the spit if it hits on my ankle <laughs> one more time. Actually, it didn't roast, I didn't roast the critter, but it did ruin some ribs. <laughs> so bad. What are we doing wrong? Will powers. Will powers. <laughs> oh. Wrote that. Ne we have a very special show next week. Yes, we, we do. have never done a complete 30-minute show outdoors. Right. And not only are we doing it outdoors, we're doing it on the back deck of my house. Right. So you get to see Going the to black abode. That's right. The shack. Uh, don't throw Mr. Powers' letter oh, away, you me. rude yes, let's dog. Let's tuck that away for all time. Oh. Well, let's uh, go, let's over, go over here and see what this. Give is. it a, a try. Here is what we're gonna do. Gee, I so, wish I could have some of this. Fine. Excuse me, I need to go back. Can't. Well, that thing's just, too hot to touch the side of. I just took oh. it out of the oven. Too bad we can't uncork one of these things. <laughs> you know how you and I just occasionally like a little bubbly with our meal. Do you think maybe the staff is putting us on and, and that really oh, we could oh, have it, but they, they, uh, they want to have it themselves after we leave? Well, perhaps that's what it's going to be. Oh, well. well, Mr. Johnson's going to go through his usual. It's too hot. I can't eat it. Oh, Ouch. it is. Oh, isn't I it awful? Tell. I'm going to burn my lips. Oh, well, it's terrible. Well, I can't it help no it. Taste. I have a sensitive mouth. Well, let me rake this through it a couple of times. <laughs> Put this in your nose, Johnson. Oh. That's real cute. Well, let me try the salad here while you're blowing on that thing, trying to get it cooled down. We won't have to hear all your misery for the rest of the show. Mm, what a mess. No, it's good. It's good. strange. It's strange, mm -hmm. but it's good. It's not my favorite salad in the world, but... Run out. It's okay. It's well, all right. Gee whiz, damning with faint praise. It's okay. It's not my favorite, but it's nice. What do you this, think of that? This casserole is not bad. <laughs> what? Well, it's not bad at all. It's, as a matter of fact, it's excellent. Matter the, of fact, this is what I intend to have for dinner this evening. The matter of fact, this casserole is good, and I'm going mm. to. It is. Interesting salad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, it's, it's not traditional, and you're very good at making non-traditional salads, and you yeah. do a darn good job. Well, I, I happen to like it. Try it. You will, too. Goodbye. <laughs>